Are you afraid to start trading? Do you ever have FOMO, fear of missing out on a trade? In this video, I'm gonna talk about all the fears and how you can overcome them. Hey, be sure to subscribe on my channel and click that little alert notification bell so you get alerted when I give you more of my wisdom. What's up, Tim Sykes, millionaire mentor and trader here answering your questions, trying to help you become a better trader. I'm trying to help the world be a better world. I'm actually wearing this new charity merch. If you click the link below, I'm gonna include uh, a link where you can get your own Save the Reef shirt. 100% of the money gets donated to charities working on uh, saving marine life, saving our oceans, saving our coral reefs, and this cool new collection, which I'm modeling. Sorry, it's, it's got like weird shoulders because it was just on hangers. This is literally the first of our fully sustainable, eco-friendly collection. We'll have a video on that soon, but this is actually made out of plastic water bottles and recycled materials. Um, it's all about getting better, right? Like, we can't be perfect. Um, you're never gonna be a perfect trader. You're never gonna be a perfect student. Merch is never gonna be like 100% perfectly eco-friendly, um, but we can try. We can always try to do better. And it takes a strategy. It takes a desire to want to do better. Um, frankly, I have a lot of students who don't even want to be better. They just want hot picks. Um, if you click the link below, I'm also going to include a link to the Millionaire Challenge. This is where I teach all of my most dedicated students. Um, if you actually look at all of my top millionaire students, they're all in the challenge. Um, they started with nothing. You know, Tim Grittani had no knowledge whatsoever, uh, just $1,500 of his own money when he first started. He actually lost his first $1,500 before he learned my rules and lessons and patterns. Now he's over 9 million. He's made nearly double what I've made in half the time. Um, but the cool thing is he's still in the challenge chat room. He still gives weekly webinars. Um, it's all about giving back to the community. It's not just about money, it's about knowledge. You have two accounts, I often say. You have your knowledge account and you have your trading account. You need to grow your knowledge account so that it so much and it just spills over into trading. And on every single trade, if you have enough knowledge, enough preparation, you have an advantage, you have an edge over others. Um, and that's what it takes, frankly, to win more than you lose. 90% of traders lose if you look at industry stats. I don't care what they say in chat rooms or on social media. There's a reason why Profitly is not more popular. People don't wanna show all their trades. People just wanna post a screenshot, sometimes it's photoshopped. People don't wanna show every single nuance, every single uh, intraday risk. You know, some of the people I see, they post like their monthly or year end statements. They're like, look how much money I made. And they focus on one dollar amount to try to lure people in without ever asking, like, wait a minute, how much are you trading with? I saw somebody make like half a million dollars, but they traded like $200 million worth of stock. And I'm like, this, this, that's, a terrible percentage. You're absolutely terrible. And they didn't even include their fees for short selling. If you are a big time short seller, you sometimes can't get borrows. They don't want to talk about that. And there's also fees when you do get borrows. Um, I talk about everything, okay? Uh, I don't have any fears because I know what I teach is real. I know that I've done it. I know that several of my top students have done it. I know that if you study hard enough, you can do it. Why do people have fears? Why are people like, oh, I can't do it? Well, a lot deals with your upbringing, your parents, your teachers, people who are around you. There may, might be negative. I'll tell you, you can do anything you set your mind to if you're dedicated and patient. This is a big fear. Everyone's like, oh, I need money right away. I'm, I'm like afraid that I'm not gonna make money. And they're afraid of like wasting time on studying if there's no financial reward later on. You can't think like that. You have to frankly, trust the process. You have to trust me. Um, if you have any doubts, just don't do it because non-dedicated, lazy students who only want hot picks, they just don't do well because they don't put in enough time to study. The more time you put in study, the more time you actually take to actually improve yourself, the better your odds of success. If you have a fear of failure, you can overcome that fear by studying. If you're afraid of actually trading with live money, you haven't studied enough. You're not confident enough in the patterns. And guess what? If you're afraid to trade with a live account, I know a lot of people just paper trade, which you should in the beginning. It helps you uh, learn about volatility even though you don't get a full education psychologically about like real money in play. But paper trade if you're scared of trading at first, right? Click the link below. I'm gonna include a special offer from Stocks to Trade. This is software that you should use every day for charts, for news, for scans, for the social media search tool, and for paper trading. You can practice with like fantasy cash, 
But even when, let's say you get over paper trading and let's say you don't want paper trading, you don't have to do it. You can trade with a small account. So many people think like they have to go all in, they have to trade big, their parents, their family, their friends are saying, oh, it's a scam and you wanna prove them wrong. That's only natural. But you cannot make that much money in the beginning. Tim Grittani, like I said, has now made nine million. He made nothing his first nine months. So if the best penny stock trader in the world can't make anything for nine months in a hot market while he's studying, how do you think you're gonna do? You really gotta give me 24, 36, 48 months. I've taught people all around the world, even the dumbest person that I've ever met has understood things in month 40, month 42. And that's in hot markets and uh, not so hot markets. Right now, the, the overall market is hitting new highs, but there's not any like truly crazy hot sector. So there's not as many perfect plays. And I want you to learn what a perfect play is. That way you'll have less fear. I get so many messages, people are like, oh, I'm afraid I'm gonna miss the big one. So what? Let's say you miss a perfect play. Get back to studying, be better prepared next time. Let's say you see somebody else making a lot of money. Tim Grittani, literally in 2020, is already up like $600,000 in just the first few weeks. People say, oh, I want that. Like, and they have FOMO, right? Like, I want that money. First of all, no money is ever just gonna be given to you. You have to earn it. And if you see somebody else making 600,000 or 60,000 or 6,000, don't be jealous of it, be inspired. The fact that somebody else is doing it means that you can do it too if you are better prepared. If you miss out on a play, say, oh, I missed out on that one, I'm human, it's okay, I'll get the next one. If you miss three plays in a row, that should inspire you even more. For me, I get encouraged when I'm on the right track. Sometimes I'm in a play and I sell too soon. And then the stock spikes 20% and after I took like a 4% profit. Newbies get angry. They're like, oh, I sold too soon, I suck. And they try to put themselves down. Versus me, if I take a 4% profit and the stock spikes 20%, I'm like, I was on the right track. I'm gonna be more aggressive next time. So a lot of this depends on your mindset and how you respond to things. Leave a comment below. I'm curious, do you respond positively when stuff happens to you, good or bad? Or are you more of like a negative, cynical person? There's no one right answer, but I want you to really think about how you react to different situations and how you can improve. Because for me, if I miss out on a play, I react positively because I say, oh, I, I want that for myself next time. Not that like, oh, screw that person, they don't deserve money, that, that money's mine. There's two ways to react to different things, even when bad things happen, right? Like when I got injured in tennis, that ruined my whole career, ruined my whole college, um, dreams of playing and you know it really stunk but I adapted and I got into trading and my dad now calls it the million dollar injury good stuff is gonna happen bad stuff is gonna happen you have to adapt and you have to always try to improve okay if you watched our documentary on saving coral reefs it's bad out there I mean it's really bad but once you learn how bad it is once you understand it then you can say okay we still have time let's try to do better and that's a, a good way to live, that's a good way to trade, that's a good way to learn. Because you can always do better in the future and nothing's ever gonna be perfect. You're never gonna like nail every single trade. Oh, uh, the stock spiked 20%, I made 20%. The stock spiked 40%, I made 40%. Instead, just try to take the meat of the move and try to adapt. Um, like I said, there's a knowledge account and trading account. So even if you don't grow your trading account, at least try to grow your knowledge account. Every new trade should teach you something, whether you did well, whether you did poorly, learn from that, bring that education to the next trade. And maybe it takes you five, maybe it takes you 50, maybe it takes you 500 trades to get enough knowledge so that knowledge spills over into your trading account. This isn't a sprint, this is a marathon, and you need to have patience. Some people get it quicker than others, but it doesn't matter what you make or lose in your first year. All of that money is negligible while you're learning. And I will warn people who make too much money the wrong way. They use leverage, they go all in, and they make a lot of quick money and they think they can cheat the system. Then it catches up to them and they lose everything. So I'd rather you learn, take it very slowly in the beginning, learn good practices, focus on developing your process, and then be rewarded greatly in the long run. Do not have fears, okay? Be afraid if you don't study. Be afraid if you're lazy. Be afraid if you only want hot picks. But be confident, be excited, be humble if you learn the strategies that I teach, if you learn the patterns and you apply them over time to grow your wealth. 
Again, click the link below to apply for my challenge. Only if you're dedicated, if you're lazy, please do not waste my team's time. It's not anything personal. We just can't help lazy people. Um, and leave a comment underneath this video. Um, tell me what you're afraid of and let me know what you think about this video. Cheers.